I feel like guns are necessary. Uh, I love having a gun. Over the past 30 years, obesity has nearly tripled in adolescence. I was assaulted by the chief, the former chief diversity officer at Central Connecticut State University. In recent years, partisanship has been a roadblock on the path to progress. I hear this a lot from elders. Communities were strong. Nowadays, in our communities, everybody, it's everybody for themselves. Right. It's everybody for themselves. Walmart, the big stores they put up East Main Street, that's all competition. So you just have to change things up and try to make things better. The title of my film is Idle Time. I we chose Idle Time because like there's teens in Stanford who were getting into trouble all the time. It was a lot of violent situations and like we wanted to like find someone who can help us like stop the violence from happening so much. My little brother's dad, he died back in 2007. Right. He got shot in Stanford. I can get in trouble, go to jail tonight. I can, I can get shot or whatever from being outside with nothing to do. Now it's like I'm taking on bigger challenges, bigger things to face. I don't think that we offer them any positive alternatives. They've taken a lot of the resources away. I'm not sure why. Different basketball programs that they had when I was growing up, you know, those no longer exist. Sometimes people say leaders are, are born, you know, leaders are not made. No, I, I disagree with that. I think some leaders are born but I think other leaders are made. Being involved with the Civil Life Project really, really boosted my, my expectations of changing things around and informing people about what's going on with us teens. Our project was Standing Divided, and it was a film that explored partisanship. I was interested in partisanship because I think it's a problem that permeates our entire culture Unfortunately, I think partisanship drives all the issues. I think what America has experienced overall is a witnessing of Congress in Washington, D.C. becoming more partisan. We're designed so that things don't happen quickly. We're uh, reactive, not proactive. Partisanship in this building is around us each and every day. It's, it surrounds us. This is not the way our Founding Fathers had intended. The idea is that we do have to compromise in order to come to some solutions. The film that I did for the Civic Life Project was called Ghost Town or Downtown. We decided to show our whole entire town what we thought our downtown is and what we want it to be, what it hopefully could be in the future. I don't know if I would open a business here in Torrington. You know, I'm looking at other spots. I don't think it's a viable location for me to open another business. And most of its history, its recent history in the last hundred years was uh, as a manufacturing center. Starting in the late 50s, early 60s, uh, some of the larger industries were purchased by what today we would call corporate raiders. The downtown to me, it's really like the heart of the city. We created a festival that comes in the summer every Thursday night, Main Street Marketplace, which brings thousands of people downtown. My vision for downtown Torrington is uh, someplace that's uh, kind of hopping. What we found out while making our film was that everyone has a role in making our downtown better. And it's not an easy task. We didn't know that. We thought it would just, you go in, you do this, and that's how it's fixed. But it takes a lot of time to fix problems. The most rewarding thing to me during the Civic Life Project was learning that you as an individual have a bigger role in your community and your government, and that you may think that you can't do anything, but you really can. You just need to go up and do it. My experience in the Civic Life Project was a very great experience. I've learned how to work with other people and get prepared for college, speaking in front of a lot of important people and not being scared when I go up there and nervous. We were getting our work done, but we were having so much fun. <laughs>